I would say, um, loving your country is not this is not saying your country is perfect. I love this big, beautiful, flawed nation. We we strive, and it says in the Constitution, to form a more perfect union, and that's something I think we should internalize and constantly striving for progress. One thing I take issue with, though, is I am well aware of the flaws in this country, and that's, I think, engaged citizens are the ones who are going to mm -hmm. fix them. Mm -hmm. But there's a little bit of this narrative of, like, you know, Europe's got it all together. We're a big mess. Like, I would just point out, France bans the burqa, even though they are the, have the largest Muslim mm -hmm. population in Europe. As an Arab American, I'm sorry, that's racist. China, the l competing global <laughs> superpower against the U.S., currently has Muslim Uyghur, Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps no, as we don't. speak. Mm -hmm. They edit black people out of Films in China, oh, racist my. right there. Um, Iran is killing women and protesters mm -hmm. for not wearing the hijab properly. And by the way, some countries in Eastern Europe criminalized homosexuality until very recently. Not just said you can't get married, right. criminalized. Don't you forget the honor killings where you could yeah. kill someone in the name and of morality. Those are not our I, friend countries, by the way. It, Most no, of but the there, ones are, there are other options. Iran please. and China are yeah. not our friends. No, but I, I think mm -hmm. I think we put Europe at times on a pedestal. Every country on earth grapples with the issues we're dealing with, including racism. And I think we should strive to do better. We should strive to be the leader, and we're not there yet. There's more work that needs to be done. Final thing on patriotism, Ukraine. When Zelensky was given more weapons from President Biden, you could see the gratitude of when America shows up for their allies. That is a country that is fighting for its sovereignty, that is patriotism, and that's why they're beating their, their lives. Well, yeah. the, the thing that we all have to remember is no place is perfect. Yeah. Every place has mm -hmm. racism. All the isms exist in every country on the face of the earth. The difference, it seems, and we're supposed to be the ones that, that can call it out without a problem. Yep. Those things are narrowing. Mm -hmm. yeah. The things that we have celebrated as this nation. Our freedoms. Our freedoms. Yeah. Freedom to learn about different people. The reason yeah. people got, you know, uh, uh, African American month, uh, Native American month, mm -hmm. Latino month, mm -hmm. because those stories were being left out yep. in the history of America. Yep. And everyone says, well, listen, Little kids need to know what not to do in the future. So let's start to celebrate. And that's what we were doing. And now what's starting to happen is the walls are coming in. And people are saying, well, that's not, that's not the way. That's not the way we need to be doing it. And in fact, it is. So don't let people shut down your libraries. Get out and, and protest and go, no. Yeah. Don't let them tell you what kind of school your kids should go to. Your kids should go to a school that helps them understand their place in their country mm -hmm. and how not to be. That's our job. Yes. And the other job that is ours is I have to take us to...